Hello, hi, I'm the problem, it's me. Anyway, if you guys haven't been able to tell what's going on in this video, I'm basically going to be playing an aggressive Conqueror Lilius drafting style because the meta shifted to a point where if I try my like more standard oriented ego drafts, I don't have a lot of fun, but yes, I'm just gonna showcase some of my gear i got really lucky in the past month with the hunt buffs and stuff but like rolling a 24 speed weapon and two 23 speed pieces really upgrades your speed contestability like who would have thought anyway this conquer Lilius is like pretty cash i'm not gonna lie it's pretty good like i could contest a lot of cleavers with this especially with imprints which i will do but like not in this video but like yeah Basically, I'm going to use Conqueror Lilius in a few aggressive drafts because I think if you pre-ban Zeal, she's still one of the best first picks since a lot of the meta revolves around stealth right now because of Zeal, like, you know, like the stupid General Purgus draft or like Guiding Light Rangers. So basically, I'll be testing them out in some drafts here. Anyway, as always, if you like my content and would like to support me, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to end the year on a funny number, so like 420 is the goal, but like if you don't hit it, like I'm not going to cry about it. Anyway, in the first match, we're up against Robin Page Lynn, and we're basically racing, except my opponent pussied out after like the first imprint, and you picked Rand, so like what are you doing, you know? This is pretty an unusual, this is a pretty unusual draft for me. But I'm showcasing some of the newer units I have built. Like, I built DJB. Like, my DJB is not a meme anymore. And DJB is pretty good into Ran, Sage. Depends on the AOL speed. Because, like, my DJB only has around, like, 240 or 220 ER. So, like, most AOLs will be able to debuff him at that ER. But, you know, he's mostly there for the barrier inversion plus push. My opponent surprisingly does ban the djb which i thought was kind of weird because i thought he would ban like either the speed imprint or the acid even or like conquer lilius but anyway my acid grabs first turn which is like mad speed rng because my conquer lilius almost outspeeds him by like seven or eight speed or it's six yeah she outspeeds him by six speed so whatever Surprisingly, the Sage Ball is not on a high ER build, so my Conqueror Lilius is able to land all my debuffs onto Sage Ball. My Aiden goes, even with all this death pen, she doesn't actually kill this Lionheart Zermia because she's on a tankier anti-cleave build, but it's okay. Uh, this is why I like Sashays a lot as an artifact, because it lets you CR manipulate a lot, because I knew if I killed the Sage Ball with my Watcher, I would be able to cut with acid and just go from the next turn and my opponent can go all he wants but i'm not sure he can even kill aiden even if he does kill her because she does have vigor and she's built pretty bulky and i'm pretty sure this rb is on wind rider from the beginning of the match and yeah so there's no gap here and we successfully yeah let's call it aggro instead of cleave <laughs> our first opponent for the first match and in the second opponent, we actually are up against the Elf Mage. And speaking of Cash Conqueror Liliuses, I know that his Conqueror Lilius is Giga Cash at 311 speed, I think. So I don't really want to race him, especially since he took the unit that is the highest speed for me. He picks Ning Ning here for the barrier inversion and Steady because nice neutral damage pick. I pick Acid here. Because he denies souls, and I can potentially kill a target. And I pick Sylvan Sage Vivian because, you know, my Sylvan Sage Vivian is now on a much more aggressive build with Book instead of Chatty, but all oh, the rest of her stats are the same. I pick her because she's good into Spectre Tenebria, and the flexibilities of having souls is just quite nice. And I kind of regret this Sylvan Sage Vivian pick because I know Elf Mage has a Solitaria, and what do you know? He picks. Sylvan Sage, Vivian's biggest counter, aside from like Zahawk with that resource reduction EE. And that's kind of an issue, especially since my DJB isn't on like crazy 
ER, like most Altarios can comfortably run like 200 ER, which I think is the build that he's on, especially since he has a Solitaria at SSS. And he's kind of roping me with this pick, but like if you watch his stream, he was basically confused on what to pick. I don't think Winter was the most ideal pick here. He could have picked FCC. He could have picked a more aggressive unit. But I basically picked Para because Para is a four span against his team with the unbuffable restrict. And I ban his cash conquer Lilius because I know my ACID cannot outspeed. And there's another reason, which you're going to see pretty soon when I enter this game. But I actually am pretty confident that my ACID with a soul burn might be able to kill his Ning Ning, but maybe not his Conqueror Lilius, because Conqueror Lilius are built pretty bulky. But if you take a closer look at his draft, as soon as Solitaria uses anything and goes here, she goes into stealth, which means that I have free reign to hit Steny, and then I can slowly grind down his team. Anyway, I soul burn into Ning Ning, because like, my team's not going to soul burn anything important. And Ning Ning does die, thank god. We remove souls, and my Acid goes into Windrider. Oh, it's Windrider Assassin Seed? Are you serious? For matches like this, where he's like the solo DPS, or like the solo reliable DPS. And as I said, now his whole team is in stealth. And if you've never been in this position before, when all the opponents are in stealth, it's like nobody has stealth. So you can just have free reign to hit anybody. Which means that I am now free to actually smack this Spectre Tenebria. And I have to bank on this Acid one-tapping his Spectre Tenebria, and I should be fine. Oh god, you one-tap. We're able to continue this match, basically. And we kind of just have to beg that Solitaria doesn't Solitaria us here, but... Oh my god, <laughs> this is such a toxic unit if you don't have answers to her. And since my DJB doesn't really have the ER for it, it's not looking the best. Like, I can still lose this, like, especially with all the stuns coming out. Uh, I kind of need Acid to somehow take another turn and soul burn into his Solitaria because I don't think his Winter can actually solo my team, especially if I don't use any skills. I kind of monkey and hit this Winter, but we get a lucky dual attack and stun his Winter. And Elvmage does, unfortunately, <laughs> yield here, which which he shouldn't have because I think with the misplay I just did, he might have had a chance to win. But, you know, we take those. I can now say that I beat a world champion participant on my resume, you know, and get all that cash. <laughs> just kidding. I got pretty lucky, um, not gonna lie. Uh, if he picked a better pick than Winter, I think I would have been in a lot more trouble. If I didn't get that dual attack into the GGB stun, I think I would have been in much more trouble. But, you know, I'm not gonna complain about it. You know, it's free wins. We love free wins. And I can showcase uh, a new drafting style that I've been trying. It's very aggressive, and it relies on you having a well-built Conqueror Lilius in DJB. And I'm going to try and showcase it a bit here. Basically, the whole setup is Conqueror Lilius is there to speed contest, and DJB is there to be really obnoxious against the standard units. Like SCROL, barrier units, like even Eden. He kind of provides protection against some of the really obnoxious debuffers that Cleave or Aggro team struggle with, like Sage Ball. And he's overall like a pretty good tech he's like a ning ning but more flexible in exchange for not giving attack buff but yes my opponent picks Solvan sage vivian here which is a pretty good pick into specter tenebria but a really bad pick into one of the few units i like to pick often so my opponent picks solitaria here uh solitaria is not to counter my team solitaria is actually there to Deny me the Solitaria pick against the Sylvan Sage Vivian, but I don't really have a Solitaria, so shucks, you know. And Solitaria has a really bad matchup against DJB because either Conqueror Lilius is able to push Ida up and it's fine, or <coughs> DJB gets to push up 
I was contemplating on banning the ran here, but you know, I was really confident in my speed of this Conqueror Lilius during the filming of this match. Like most Emperor Rans are above 300, but it's rare to see one in like 310 range. So I was limit testing and I wanted to be like my Conqueror Lilius speed, you know, <laughs> speed contest. I just wanted to have fun as a cleaver, okay guys? Like <laughs> I would definitely recommend if anyone else was in the situation that you should ban Ran because it's the safest. But you know, this gives me the most satisfaction and it inflicts the most mental damage on my opponent when your Ran gets actually outsped by a Conquer Lilius. You know how I used to run like Para at 312 speed before this. My Paras can be 317 speed with Conger Lilius' gear, by the way. But Conger Lilius's would sometimes outspeed my Para even at that speed, and that would do such mental damage to me. Like, you guys don't even understand. But yeah, today's video is actually going by pretty fast. It's going to be one of my shortest videos, and that's just because the matches end <laughs> a lot quicker when you're cleaving. And I was going to have fun with Roy, but my opponent, like, understandably forfeits at that point. So, can't really complain. And in the next match, we're back with Robin Page Lin with, like, the exactly the same draft. And, you know, since we're doing the same draft, we're just going to repeat <laughs> what I did last time. So, my opponent is just, like, kind of unlucky that he ran into me after... I regeared my account to be a little bit more cleave aggro oriented because I think this drafting style would have done much better against me previously where I had to speed contest with Faithless Lyrica and Para because I think that really suffers against this these types of drafts. But my opponent picks Bryce area, which is pretty intelligent because I don't really want to AoE her or anything. But I think Ida is the pick here because I can just stun his units. Or I can just kill AOL with the book. So I actually think I'm going to ban Bryce area since I don't have any good ways to pop her out of self. And my opponent does ban Conqueror Lilius, I guess, to protect his Guiding Light Bryce area, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, I check the CR bar and we get to see why Sashay Thane is such a balanced balanced artifact because I basically know that Sashay Thani is going to push my DJB to the point where he cuts this ran so I was free to soul burn into AOL because Trozet provides great mitigation for the back unit but he provides garbage mitigation well non-existent mitigation for everyone else so now I'm free to press Ida S3 and just hope that I can stun his entire team probably not T Crozet because they have ER but Based. We stun his two DPS units. Now I'm free to just go into T Crozet. And if this T Crozet is on Holy Sack, I can just run into him again with Acid and we'd be good. But thankfully, he is not on Holy Sack or it didn't proc. So it doesn't really matter here. And boom, bam, bop. This is a really clean. Okay, I don't want to call it cleave, but it's like it kind of was. But. Sasha Thane lets my Ida cut, so his RB doesn't even get <laughs> a turn. So basically, my opponent didn't get to press any buttons. I feel kind of dirty, but they ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. You know, I'm not gonna cry about it. <laughs> it's just fun to do sometimes. Cause if you guys didn't know. In my previous videos, I had to like cut out a lot of matches where it was just me anti-cleaving and praying. But I think for a cleave, one of the best ways to do it is speed contest. Because there's a lot of ways to answer like the last two picks of like DBK Kron. If you pick like Astromancer, Elena plus Melissa or like Briarwitch and Melissa, those are really good picks. My opponent actually picks really speed here, and if this was me, I would actually pick... If this was like the me now, I would just pick speed imprints and race him, but at the current moment in time, I didn't want to because he had my only other speed unit, 
that like contests. Like my Pera is still above 300 speed, but like Pera's fault is that she isn't a standalone unit. Like she needs follow up. She needs like an Ida. She needs like C area or like whatever. So I didn't want to do that. So I'm like tanking down a bit here. Um, not really tanking down. His team doesn't have like the most damage. So I pick Steny because she's a safe DPS. Uh, Sylvan is like quote unquote a safe DPS that Steny can hide behind. And my opponent picks Landy, which is a pretty good pick into Steny and Sylvan Sage Rivian because she can actually overwhelm Steny. No, um, Sylvan Sage inside stacks with Soulburn. So I actually end up picking Bryce area here for the strip and stuff. And I am contemplating banning Lua or Landy, but I think without Landy, uh, a solo DPS Acid is going to be very tough to pull off. And we're going to get into the match. Uh, they banned DJB, which I thought was kind of surprising because he had a few ways to bypass him. But I guess they were afraid of like the ER push up and stuff. I was kind of hoping that my <laughs> Conqueror Lilius would outspeed, but that plus 14 speed imprint on an Acid is kind of tough to beat out. Luckily though, it doesn't look like it's going to be too bad. I still have con uh, plenty of targets for Steny to hide behind and eventually wear down his team. It kind of feels bad to have a Bunny Dom on the enemy team though because... I have to be very careful about what I soul burn. And this Lua is also on Spatio Temporal Fan. So that's also something that is kind of oof. But I think it'll be okay because Acid is so fast compared to Steny and the rest of my DPS units. Like he should be able to lap them more than once. And you get to see my Copium <laughs> Wall of Order Bryce area. But what can you do? Uh Luckily, we get a Steny dual attack into Lua, and we kill off Wanderer Silk here because we don't want her to proc the... What is that called? The dual attack onto my units, because that's one of the failings of Acid solo DPS, is that you kind of have to rely on outspeeding and killing off threats before they can retaliate, but since Steny can hide behind my two meat sacks of Sylvan Sage Rivian and Immortality by Syria, I'm kind of giving free, I'm kind of given free reign to just do whatever. Acid is able to S3 again, but I don't think it matters too much because Steny is going to just 50-50. And since a lot of units have died and my Steny is on Pensa, like she should be able to kill. And luckily we are able to take down Acid for the win because there is no way Bunny Dom can finish this by herself. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Um, I would just like to say, if you got in here, uh, this is basically going to be the last video of 2020. I'd like to thank everyone for supporting me and my channel. Like, I've grown a lot, especially in the last few months, and mm -hmm. I have a lot of fun playing RTA and Epic Seven. And to know that like a lot of people like agree is like a very heartwarming feeling. And I hope everyone's 2023 is like better. But yeah, that's it for me today. I'll catch y'all next time.